This is uh, the first ever gathering of uh, co-management boards that were negotiated through modern day land claim agreements in the Eastern Arctic. So gathered today are the Nunavut Wildlife Management Board, the Torngat Joint Fisheries Board, and the Nunavik Marine Region Wildlife Board. And we're here to discuss what we have in common with regard to commercial fisheries. It's exciting to, to see these boards come together and to, to you know hear our board members talk to each other. All the land claims are similar and different at the same time. And then being able to talk about those and the challenges and successes and opportunities that we all have it is unique and important conversations to have. You have uh, representatives of Inuit boards and Inuit organizations all over northeastern Canada. There's lots of things that uh, those people have in common. So there's an opportunity to learn. For this meeting, we're seeing the perspectives of other organizations and how they do their decisions, and it's going to be very inf insightful for us in terms of collaborating, but also in how we can make our, our own decisions as well. We're all kind of understanding what all our issues are and concerns and needs, so it's a good uh, eye-opener for sure. We see what the other Inuit uh, are going through in each uh, region. It's important that we support them and we support each other because uh, in the end our, our goal is for Inuit betterment. Co-management means cooperation, uh, sharing of information, being transparent when it comes to decision making. Co-management requires ensuring that we listen to stakeholders, listen to our co-management partners, listen to Inuit, giving them the fair opportunity to provide their views, their knowledge. We've matured enough to the point now where uh, the Minister of Fisheries and Oceans and, and and others need to trust that the advice that we're giving is, is well-founded and well-researched and, and a lot of people have been involved and, and allow our decisions to, to stand. What you're talking about is regions that are adjacent to Inuit land claims and it seems like we all have a common interest to uh, uh, achieve, I guess, what we feel are equitable access to commercial fishery resources in our Inuit regions and it was very informative to see the differences and yet to hear of the similarities that we all share. At this gathering people uh, care deeply about fisheries and livelihoods at the community level and uh, I hope that we'll, this won't be our, our last gathering like this.